Although the T-5455 main battle tank was designed several decades ago as a first-generation main battle tank, it is still being used by many countries in the 21st century. Many poor countries cannot afford to purchase new tanks, and the old tanks cannot meet their defense needs. Therefore, refurbishing and upgrading the old tanks using the most advanced technology is a good choice. The T-55 AGM main battle tank from Ukraine is one such equipment. The T-55 AGM was developed by the Morozov Design Bureau, and the designer comprehensively upgraded the three major elements of the tank without modifying the tank's chassis. The overall weight of the tank is about 46 tons, and its comprehensive combat capabilities should surpass those of second-generation main battle tanks. In terms of power, the tank has replaced its engine with a 5TDFM two-stroke multi-fuel liquid-cooled engine, which can output 850 horsepower. It is equipped with a six-speed gearbox, allowing the tank to reach a maximum speed of nearly 70 kilometers per hour and a reverse speed of 30 kilometers per hour. The driver has been provided with a new driving system, making operation easier. The T-5455 tank's 100mm smoothbore gun is clearly outdated. The T-55 AGM can be equipped with two new guns according to customer needs. One is the 125mm KBM-01 smoothbore gun, which continues the lineage of Soviet Russian weapons. The other is the 120mm KBM-2 smoothbore gun, which can fire NATO ammunition. Both guns are capable of launching missile projectiles. The tank can carry approximately 30 rounds of ammunition. Perhaps considering that the tank turret space is too small for manual ammunition loading, a horizontal loading mechanism has been installed at the rear of the tank turret, which can maintain a maximum firing rate of 8 rounds per minute and store 18 rounds of ammunition. The tank's secondary weapon is a 7.62mm machine gun, which can be either a PK machine gun or a Ukrainian-made KT machine gun, with a capacity of 3,000 rounds. Another 12.7mm NSF heavy machine gun is installed outside the top hatch of the commander's compartment, with a capacity of 450 rounds. Six smoke grenade launchers are installed on the front left and front right sides of the turret. The tank's fire control system and sighting system have been comprehensively upgraded. The fire control system includes the gunner's 1K14 day-night sight, the PTTM thermal imaging sight, the commander's PNK4S sighting system, the LIOV ballistic computer, and a laser rangefinder. Among them, the PNK4S is used for the 12.7mm heavy machine gun, allowing the commander to directly observe targets from inside the turret and operate the machine gun. The LIOV ballistic computer obtains data such as crosswind, tank speed, and barrel angle through sensors, and the gunner needs to manually input data such as temperature and air pressure. The initial firing preparation time is 5 to 8 seconds, and the effective firing range is 2400 to 2600 meters. Protection is another key improvement of the T-55 AGM. Modifying the tank's basic armor is a costly and time-consuming task, so additional armor has been installed instead. The front, sides, and top of the hull, as well as the front, sides, and top of the turret, have undergone intensive installation. The specific model should be Contact 1. Steel plates and rubber fabric skirts have been added to the sides of the tank to enhance side protection. The T-55 AGM tank's commercial journey has been fruitless. But Peru once approached Ukraine to jointly develop a new T-55 M8A2 Typhoon II main battle tank. In fact, it is a further improvement of the T-55 AGM. They have almost identical appearances, but the prototype photos of the Typhoon II found online show a camouflage paint with a sandy yellow color, making them easy to distinguish. The T-55M8A2 is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun and a 5TDFMA multi-fuel engine, which can output 1050 horsepower, giving the tank improved mobility. In terms of armor protection, a circle of steel plates has been welded around the outer perimeter of the turret, and explosive reactive armor has been installed, resulting in improved protection. However, the extent of its effectiveness is unknown. 
the T5M8A2 appeared at a defense exhibition in Peru in 2015. Some articles on the internet claim that it was a tank designed by Peru, but that is incorrect. Their engineers only participated in the development process based on the T-55A GM. The T-55M8A2 was not mass-produced and only a few prototype vehicles were manufactured. 